Hi. In this video, we'll go over the basics of the operations of fractions because we'll often have to work with fractions during our Algebra 1 course. So I'm by no means going into depth, but I definitely want you to be able to do everything that you will see in this video. Alright, so first of all, we need to know how to simplify a fraction. So let's look at a, a fraction. Let's make it 6 over 15, and this is just an example. In order to simplify the fraction, you have to ask yourself, is there any common factors to the numerator and the denominator? Any number that can go into 6 and, and go into 15 in this case. And there is one. The number is 3. So because there is a common factor, we would go ahead and divide both the numerator by that, that, that factor and the denominator by that factor. And we would get that the numerator is equal to 2 and the denominator is equal to 5. So in order to keep going, if we had to keep going, we would ask ourselves, are there any more common, denom sorry, common factors for the numerator and the denominator? And there are no more common factors, which means that this fraction is fully simplified. And that's how you uh, simplify a fraction in all cases, even if it had variables in it, even if it was a complex looking algebraic expression. All right, now let's keep going and start multiplying fractions. So when you have to multiply fractions, you have two options. So let's split the page so that we can look at both. And you can choose whichever option is preferable to you. I do have a preference, but I won't tell you what my preference is. All right, so uh, if we have to find what's 2 out of 5, let's say... Let's do this again. Let's cross that out. 2 out of 5 times 15 out of 8. So one of our options is to multiply straight across numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator and then simplify. So 2 times 15 gives us 30 and 5 times 8 gives us 40. So that is the answer, but it's not yet simplified. So we can do what we just reminded ourselves how to do, which is look for a common denominator for the numerator and the denominator, a common factor, sorry, for the numerator and the denominator. And a common factor is 10. So we can go ahead and divide both the numerator by 10 and the denominator by 10, and we get 3 fourths. And that's how we multiply our fractions. But we have another option. So let's set this up again and start again. Um, and you can choose whichever method you prefer. It's good to know both, though, because sometimes one is easier than another in a certain case. All right. So same question. Let me use black this time. 2 over 5 multiplied by 15 over 8. All right. So what is pretty cool is that you can cross simplify. So we previously spoke about the fact that if you have a common factor for the numerator and the denominator, you can divide both by that common factor. You can actually do it going across as well. And this is for multiplication. Please keep in mind this is for multiplication. So we can cross simplify. There is a common factor for this 5 and this 15, that common factor is 5. So we can go ahead and divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5, even though it's in different numerators and denominators. And looking again, there is a common factor for 2 and 8. So we can go ahead and divide by that common factor, which is 2. So we can divide that by 2 and divide that by the same thing, by 2. And then once we have cross-simplified, then we can multiply across. So we have at right here at the top left we have 1 over and then here we have 1 multiplied by right here 15 over 3 or divided by 3 sorry 15 divided by 5 we have 3 over and right here 8 divided by 2 we have 4 so multiplying a Top by top, numerator by numerator, we have 3. Denominator by denominator, we have 4. And that's our answer. 
And as you can see, we got the same answer, which should give us confidence to move forward. All right, and that's how you multiply. So dividing fractions are pretty similar because most of the steps are actually the exact same. We just have to start off differently. So let's say you were asked to divide these fractions. 2 over 3 divided by 10 over 21. Now, whenever dividing fractions, uh, a lot of people have a mnemonic device or kind of a mnemonic device. People say keep because they're keeping the first fraction, change because they're changing multiplication to, sorry, they're changing division to multiplication, and flip because they're flipping the second fraction to its reciprocal. So that means we're keeping the two thirds, so it's two thirds changing that division sign to multiplication and flipping that second fraction to 21 over 10. Now we can go ahead and cross simplify because these numbers are kind of large so it would be easier to cross simplify first. Dividing the numerator here by 2 because it's common to both the 2 and the 10 and dividing the denominator here by 3 because it's common to both the 3 and the 21 and we get 1 over 1 times 7 over 5 and we didn't actually even have to write that 1 over 1 because 1 times 1 is 7 and 1 times 5 is oh, sorry 1 times 7 is 7 and 1 times 5 is 5 so here we have our answer when we've finished the dividing all right, so let's look at addition and subtraction. All right, so we can actually only add fractions if they have like denominators, the same denominator, which would probably make one wonder, well, suppose they don't have like denominators, what do I do then? Well, if they don't have like denominators, you can make them first have like denominators and then add or subtract. Okay, let's go ahead and start a question. Let's start off pretty easy. Uh, we have two fractions here, and they have like denominators. So the denom denominators for both is five. So we have one fifth and three fifths, but you put all those fifths together, you get four fifths. And it's as easy as that. All we do is add the numerators, we keep the denominators the same. Add the numerators, keep the denominators the same. All right, so again, let's look at a harder one on like denominators, because that's a little bit more challenging. So let's just put a little slash here. Let's do a subtraction problem, because I want you to see that the rules for adding and subtracting are the exact same thing. So if you know how to add, that means you know how to subtract. All right, so let's do 4 over 5 minus 2 over 3. Now we have unlike denominators. We cannot add if we have unlike denominators, so we have to change it. So the first thing we have to do is find the lowest common multiple. Actually, any common multiple will do for the denominators, but the lowest is the easiest to work with. So our lowest common multiple of 5 and 3 is 15. All right, so that is our LCM, and we're going to change these fractions both to fractions with a denominator of 15. So in order to do that, for the fraction on the left side, I would have to multiply this 5 by 3 to get to 15. And whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the, top, the, the numerator as well, because I can't just change the denominator just because I feel like. Now I'll have an equivalent fraction of 12 over 15. Now we have to do the same thing for this fraction. I would like to have a common a denominator of 15. So in order for me to get to 15 from 3, I would have to multiply that 3 by 5. And whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator as well. So now I have an equivalent fraction down here of 10 over 15. And now my denominators, as you can see, are the same. So now I can go ahead and simply subtract. 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. I subtract the numerators, but I keep the denominator the same. 
and that is my answer. And that's how we work with fractions. So we will be using these skills as we move forward in the course. So don't forget them. Trust me, you need them. Thank you.